Right, this is me all hidden away on an end of the island on the big pit. I've already had one. I didn't video it's peeing down. Had a 21 common. And I've got a mirror as well. I just uh, left it in the net further up. Boats are out. It's a laugh, but there you go. Happy days. That's what they want to do. That's base camp. As you can see, it's a right old trash heap. Set up in the peen rain and ain't sorted it out. The boat's there. See, it's a real tight swim. Anyway, you've got to do what you've got to do. I've got this overhanging willow here, which like blocks the bay to my left. You can't tow in here really, but um, you can go like, where is it? I'm going up along there, it's a shallower a bit. With a bit of weed laying along there. So I've just towed two rods up to there. There's a bar out here, I've had a rod on there, but nothing. The two bikes just come along this weed bed, with a little shallow like lump beside it. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more in a minute what I'm doing. Uh, I want to get this fish sorted. I've got the rod straight back out um, as I normally do. Boats are out and about, it's probably pushing them in the bay. Well, there's a lot of boats, there's three motor boats out there as well, like rescue boats. So it's like a uh, bit of noise in their world coming here out the way. A lot of weed, deep water. Um, they were in here big time yesterday, no shows. I see a couple over deep water this morning out in the lake, fuzzed the rod on it, nothing's happened. But I'm sure what's happening now is all this commotion with the boats and that, they're now legging it back in this bay. So uh, I've got a few more, couple more nights left. Then I've got three days tuition. Um, yeah, over the weekend, misses away, I've got work. Um, and then I've got a bit of fishing the following week and I start my big five week holiday trip. So hopefully I might get one of these target fish. One of them's already been out, good angling to uh, the geezer that caught it. A bit down in white after spawning out at 43, still. The, the biggest one is still out there, so it'll be around about 45, 46 if you're lucky. Um, see what happens, just keep going on with the plan. That fish I had today is the 17th fish I've had now, so everything's going to plan, so happy days. looking baby, got a couple of uh, barbels right at the end, a bit weird. Here it is, 22 pound 4 ounces, big pit mirror, happy days again. So I've been here about just over 24 hours, had a couple out. All right wrinkly skin. Of him and that. Just getting back. Right, I've got six foot of um, quarter cable lead core. There's a stop for the helicopter there, it's a four mil bead, just lightly pushed on, a two mil silicon. Then we've got a uh, small ring swivel, then we've got an 8mm bead, then we've got a sleeve and um, Aaron from Lead Shed has sent me some of his leads over I'm using 2 ounce squares with a nice covering, coating on them sorry 
Um, the actual hook link is 20 pound amnesia with a nice loop, one end going down, it's about 14 inch long, blob of corder putty, another blob, slightly smaller corder putty, and then we go down to the hook bait, business end. It's exactly the same as the chod, apart from I've taken the ring of the swivel, so it's just a swivel on a loop, on the end of the amnesia, going down, the arrangement's exactly the same, and then because it's a pop-up and I haven't got the weight of the lead core to sink it, like on a na naked chod, I've had to like balance it. And I'm not balance it so it sinks slowly, I want it to be balanced and sink fast. So there it is. You can see how aggressive that is, can't you? And that's doing the business.